reveals plans for mild hybrid powertrains. Volkswagen has revealed future powertrain plans which include 48 volts mild hybrids and advanced petrol engines. Bio and synthetic fuels are also on the way and are expected to revolutionize the environmental balance sheet for internal combustion engines, according to a company spokesman. Diesels also remain high on Volkswagen's agenda. Diesel has a long, clean future ahead of it, said the spokesman. Autumn budget, diesel tax hike confirmed. Electrification will form an essential part of the strategy and includes both front-wheel drive and four-wheel drive 48 volts mild hybrid technology. The mild hybrid is powered by a 148 bhp 1.5 TSI turbocharged petrol engine equipped with an 8 kW belt integrated starter generator BISG, giving fast stop-start boosting engine torque and recouping energy to store in the car's 48 volts lithium-ion battery. A mild hybrid plus version incorporates an additional 35 bhp electric motor driving either the front or rear axle. This feeds extra torque to the driveline and recovers energy through regenerative braking, with the engine shut down to save fuel. The powered rear axle drive aids traction and improves cornering balance in slippery conditions. The mild hybrid systems are expected to give a fuel consumption benefit of around 7 miles per gallon over the regular 1.5 TSI engine. A new version of the 128 bhp 1.5 TSI engine equipped with a variable geometry turbocharger is claimed to have the highest compression ratio for a turbocharged engine and to deliver best-in-class fuel economy. The engine also runs on the Miller cycle, a special high-efficiency operating regime. It's set to go on sale in the UK in the Golf 1.5 TSI in the near future. A 158 bhp version of the engine is under development, as is a bi-fuel prototype that can run on both compressed natural gas CNG, and petrol. A new 7-speed DSG automatic gearbox, dubbed the DQ381, is capable of transmitting 310 pounds foot torque and is expected to give a CO2 saving of 10 grams km over the original DQ250 unit, which was introduced in 2003. According to Volkswagen's senior diesel engineer, Marcus Cohn, dieselgate related recalls are now fully approved in both North America and Europe. Independent testing has verified that all Volkswagen diesels fall within the legislated limits for NOx emissions. Thus far, 6.5 million vehicles have been updated and conversions are continuing at the rate of 100,000 cars per week. Plans to take diesel technology forward include a combination of engine improvements to reduce the amount of NOx created inside diesel engines, dual selective catalytic reduction SCR. Systems and NOx Storage Catalysts NSC. E boosting technology being tested in prototype form creates a slower pressure buildup to reduce NOx and gives a punchier response. Related Stories Volkswagen Golf Review, Volkswagen T Rock Review, Volkswagen Polo Review. I'd like to know what the payback time would be for having this mild hybrid tech option on your average golf. If it costs £1,500 more and gives 15% savings, say £200 a year then payback time will be 7 years. A big no thank you.